What's happening guys? Uh, today Sony started pushing out uh, the update to Ice Cream Sandwich for their Xperia NXT devices or Xperia Next devices and uh, we've got a Xperia S uh, which has just been updated to Android 4.0.4 and we're just going to do a quick hands-on and show you what all has changed. Not a lot has changed in terms of the user interface but a little bit of add-ons and a lot of bug fixes have been brought by Sony to the mix. So uh, let's quickly take a look at what's happening. So uh, you can see here, this is the lock screen. So you can see here, this is the new lock screen. The same interface continues on with this lock screen as well, where you can swipe uh, to the left to get into your music player features. But on the bottom over here, if you would notice, and uh, it's quite evident that now instead of the silent switch, we have the camera button. So you can simply slide it out and go directly into the camera with that. And that's absolutely wonderful. And if you like using the camera on this device a lot, that is something that you'll really, really appreciate. Now you get your Facebook notifications in the lock screen as well, and your SMS messages, everything else remains the same. So you get some modifications for the lock screen, but more or less the same thing. Now, once you unlock the device, uh, this is the interface that you see. At first glance, it looks exactly like it did on uh, the first uh, iteration uh, that came out with gingerbread. So once you look at it like this, it looks exactly the same, the same kind of toggles, the same kind of widgets. But if you look a little closer, you will see Android ICS all over it. So now the notification panel is a little different. You do have this quick launch from over here from which you can jump into settings. And once you jump into the settings panel, you will immediately start to notice the ICS update. Uh, in this, you will now start to see your uh, most used action, which is uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth directly on the top over here. And below that, you can jump into data usage and look at your data usage. You can also jump into more and set up other things such as tethering and hotspot along with NFC. Uh, now, what they've also done is added Android Beam, which was talked about with the Jelly Bean update. So in case you turn on NFC, you'll be able to share your files and photos just with Android Beam. If I quickly jump into About Phone, you'll see that the Android version is 4.0.4, so that's absolutely wonderful. We get the latest version of ICS and uh, take a look at some of the basic differences that have happened. So uh, this is the new settings panel. You still have the Xperia panel over here, but you also get PlayStation certified games now with the Xperia S. So you can download those as well. Now you do have a bunch of options that are same. Facebook inside Xperia is still the same over here. So you have more or less the same kind of options in the settings panel, but now it's laid out in uh, the ice cream sandwich layout once you go into security you can also select the screen lock that you want and uh, now you get the face unlock option in uh, the xperia s as well one more thing that you can do now is you can slide to uh, remove uh, your notifications from the notification panel which is really nice uh, you do also have uh, the multitasking feature which has now been included so if you hold down on the home button now you get the new ice cream sandwich sort of multitasking layout with which you can again quit running applications simply by sliding them to the left as easy as that and uh, once you go into uh, the all applications menu you will see again it's similar to what it was on gingerbread not a lot has changed but you do have some more customizations that uh, sony has added the interface is overall much more smoother much more responsive and you do have three new applications uh, that Sony has added so instead of the music player the new app is now called Walkman and you do have a bunch of features on it so you have basically included the Sony Walkman uh, app on uh, to the Xperia devices additional benefits that you get if you jump into settings from here you'll be able to see a music visualizer So in the visualizer, you have a ton of uh, effects that you can uh, include. So uh, you can choose that theme and uh, change your visualizer. But also you will see sound enhancements, which is basically an equalizer. And we really like this equalizer. You have some presets, uh, treble boost, bass boost, easy listening, heavy. And uh, you can also customize it according to your own preference. You will really notice the difference if you are using headphones and if you're using high quality headphones, you'll actually notice the difference. If you're using Sony clear bass headphones, you will notice the difference a lot. You can also turn on headphone surround. If you have surround sound headphones, you can turn it on. And uh, you have a ton of options for that. You have a concert hall, you have a club option. 
and uh, you have a studio option. So depending on the kind of headphones you have, if you have really high quality headphones, you can really use uh, the headphone surround feature. Again, you can also enhance the loudness of the speaker using XLoud, which is now included in the app. You can easily search for your music by pressing the search button over here. You also get music information thanks to Gracenote. Now apart from the music application, uh, Sony has added something which is called the album application, which is over here. And uh, this is how your photos are now displayed in uh, this format. So depending on when the pictures were clicked, they are laid out in monthly option. So you have, uh, we have all our pictures from June and we have all our pictures from May. And uh, you can also see all your images on a map now. So all your geotagged images will now start to show up on a map. You also have online uploaded images over here. So if you uploaded some images to Picasa or to any other, they will start to show up in the instant upload. And uh, your Google Plus images will also start to show up in the album application. The last application is the movies or my movies application which is called films in india now we don't have any movies installed over here this also adds uh, grace note features and uh, gives you new style of playing movies again it adds sound enhancements a lot of more uh, features than the standard android video player so we really appreciate uh, the effort that sony has put into it now we've been using this for about 10 or 12 hours and a battery life has improved phenomenally and uh, we see that the device is no longer getting hot and uh, prolonged usage has not caused the battery to drain at all. One thing that we are not happy about is uh, the fact that uh, again brightness level cannot be set to auto so brightness has to be set according to your usage of it and we are not happy about that so you can either reduce the brightness or increase the brightness which there is no auto brightness mode which is very very disappointing. Some more features have been added and a lot more things you will see in the interface for example when you reduce and increase the volume you will start to see android ics uh, settings over there everything else has essentially been kept the same you have your timescape widgets your timescape ui everything is essentially the same you can pinch in to get all your uh, floating widgets over there just tapping on a widget will take you to that home page another difference is that now to add widgets onto the home screen you have to hold down on the home screen and you get these two options over there if you press the button on the left which is the personalization button with which you can change the wallpaper or the theme. So if you press theme, it will give you an option of all the Xperia themes that are available for the device. And if you press wallpaper, you'll be able to edit the wallpaper. But on the other side over here, you can also add shortcuts or widgets. Now widgets are shown like this, unlike the previous format of Gingerbread. All your widgets are now shown like this. So uh, widgets are also dynamic and they will fit into any space that you will uh, pop them onto. So that's really nice, a really nice and customized user interface. It's become much more faster. You do get uh, the new Chrome browser and Firefox uh, now working on it properly. The included browser has also been uh, enhanced and it's working much better. And I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration. It's much more responsive. It opens up the website really fast and a pinch to zoom in and panning around has been fixed. So we're really happy about that. So you'll be able to see initially the kinetic scrolling bit is so much more smoother uh, than it was earlier. You can see that basically as responsive as or as fast as I can move my finger, the device uh, will uh, shift the screen. So that's really, really responsive. I'm just going to give it that minute to load up the full website. Okay, so you'll be able to see that now pinch to zoom in works really impressively and it's really very smooth. You can just quickly zoom in and zoom out. It's very responsive. You can see panning is very, very smooth. So they've made a lot of bug fixes uh, to uh, the browser and you also get this new tab style layout for the browser. So a lot of standard Android features are obviously there and uh, we're really happy about that. Uh, ICS updates are there and uh, a quick tap will uh, let you jump from a tab to another tab or quickly close tab, manage tabs. You can also slide them to the left to simply close the browser. So ICS is for the time being working well on uh, the Xperia S and if you guys have any questions or queries about how ICS works on uh, the Xperia S, we'll be happy to answer those. So leave those in the comment section below or on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. For more unboxing videos, hands-on videos, reviews, and tutorials, log on to iGAN.in. Do take out the time, subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. Next episode of iGAN TV is up shortly, so stay tuned for that, and subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash iGAN TV, to get the latest updates on that. If you haven't already, check out our contest on Facebook. We are giving away tons of devices and uh, goodies. Until later, guys, it's been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching.